KZ Guy 2 here, no nonsense, no how. All right, today's gonna be a part two to my original part one, finding air leaks inside of your fuel return line. What, what's causing air to get inside the fuel on a Dodge Cummins 6BT 12 valve motor? Tried, I eliminated everything, and with this new pump that I had put in, this is supposedly an OEM Cummins pump, no matter what I did, I was still getting air in my fuel return. So, we're going to see today if replacing that with this uh, DCEC slash Cummins Chinese pump, which is supposedly better, uh, fixes that problem. Now... The re this is my original pump right here, and I, in the beginning of this video, I want to talk about the differences between these three pumps and which, which I think is the best pump. I think the best pump is probably the original Cummins one, honestly, but uh, unfortunately, I, I think that the, the or I'm sorry, the original Made in USA Carter, but I think, you know, this, this, this is supposedly Made in USA too, but this has some serious uh, flaws going on with it. Anyway, so, let's get started here. Now, originally I replaced this out of my truck because it was only producing 25 PSI fuel pressure no matter what I did, even with the line kinked off, the return line kinked off. So, uh, you know, I think it's worn out, 200,000 miles on it, replaced it. Went on eBay and I said, all right, instead of all those Chinese ones, I'm going to spend the money and get this Made in USA Cummins one for 69 bucks. Okay, I get it. It says Made in USA on it. Seems nice. So I put it right in, no matter what, I'm getting air. So I called the guy I originally got it from, and he said he's been having a ton of problems with these. He questions whether they're even made in the USA, or maybe just the machine, machines that they build these things with are just so worn out because they're not updated. I don't know, but he recommended, and he actually offered, uh, I'll put links in, in there uh, for these products, by the way, if you guys want to check them out. But I called him, and he said, you know what, I'll send you this DCEC made in China one, uh, these actually sell on eBay for 75 bucks, and he said, you know, but he sees no problems with these things. So we're going to try that out today. Now, I took all three of these pumps apart, and I want to talk about uh, a few of the differences. The original Carter made in USA, I think this is the best out of all of them. Uh, one design change that I really like that this one has is this hole right here. This is for if, if the seal on the fuel side ever fails, fuel will dump out of here instead of going inside of your engine. These other pumps do not have that. So if the fuel, you know, seal fails in here, it will push 25 PSI fuel pressure right past this plunger into your crankcase, and you'll never know it, and you'll be wiping your, your engine out eventually. So I do like that this has that. Uh, also, these have an updated design. Um, you know, you see they use an O-ring and a, uh, you know, tapered seat instead of this. Uh, this has an aluminum uh, gasket that seals all of these instead of an o-ring all right so this was a great pump oem 200,000 miles but we're going to put that out of commission put that uh you know retire it so i put this one in there and i'm going to say it's a piece of crap don't buy this this uh this cummins one right off the rip i could say that the the plunger seems higher quality on the chinese one this one seems all all crummy and when you pull these off right here the uh the pressure valve on the top like what is going on with this this looks like some freaking I, I don't know what happened but it doesn't look very good it looks like somebody marred it all up if you pull the one off the chinese pump you know it's definitely made in china much nicer cleaner presentation and it actually mimics just like the carter uh you know well the factory 200,000 mile one looks like now when you when you pop off this side here the inlet First of all, very little spring pressure there. Taper spring, just like the original factory one had. Screen in there, whatever. Dump this upside down. This just flies right out of there. Like, there was not a very good seal between the wall and this um, at all. So, and if you look inside of here, this, 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 you know, one-way valve is all cockeyed. I don't, like, on the back side it looks good, but it, I don't know if you guys can see that by the camera, but it is all cockeyed in there and not even level. So I don't know what's going on with that. But when you put this back in, it just kind of, you know, drops right back into place very easily. Anyway, so that's the supposedly made in USA one. But I'm getting air in my system no matter what when I use that one. Going over to this one here. When we pop the intake side off of here, a um, lot of spring pressure. Heavier duty spring, not not tapered. Put it upside down. The plunt, the uh, you know, I can't even get that plunger out of there. I mean, that's that's a tight fit in there, very tight fit. So very close tolerances. 
And we're gonna go ahead and put this one in and see if it if it does anything. Like I said, the, the really only thing I don't like about this one, I mean, hey, it's made in China, but you know what? If it's a better piece, it's a better piece. But I do not like that both of those don't have this weep hole for if, you know, that seal ever fails. And I don't want fuel going inside my engine, so. Whatever, let's put this in and we'll see if we still have air. All right, so got the DCEC pump installed. I had the whole system bypassed, so the intake, uh, you know, fuel inlet for it is directly hooked to a bucket of diesel. And then the line coming out, the return is over here. You can see there's actually an air bubble in there right now. Uh, I've, I've ran the thing truck for about five, ten minutes, bled all the air out of it, and no matter what, I still get a little bit tiny little air bubbles in there. So I'm gonna say this DCEC pump's pretty good. However, this is my inlet line. No air bubbles at all in there that I can see. But the return, I still have little air bubbles in there. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. I'll try to focus in. No matter what I do, I still get tiny little air bubbles coming out of the returns. So at this point, I guess I'm gonna say that's normal. I'm getting the right fuel pressures. You know, it's not all over the place like it was with the other pump and uh, whatever. At this point, I'm gonna drive it, see how it is, and we'll see how long that DCEC pump lasts. Okay guys, hopefully this video helped you out. Give me a thumbs up if it did. And uh, if you got any other questions or anything about this truck, let me know. Thanks for watching, KZ Guy 2, no nonsense, no how. Have a good day.